who is Dr. Pinkney? So today I'm going to be discussing my teacher, Dr. Pinkney. He is my uh, global hip hop teacher, so hip hop around the world. But I also wanted to discuss him as a feminist too. Very rarely do I see, especially educators when it comes to hip hop, discuss women or discuss women in a positive light. So the fact that he is still a hip hop teacher, he is still for the culture, okay, he's still doing it for the culture, but he also is involved in feminism and actively working for the advancement of all genders, not just men. What makes Dr. Pinckney an effective educator? He's him. I mean, he doesn't like put on a persona to, you know, appease anybody and everybody. He, he is him. He's the guy that you expect to, you know, kind of, kind of lead. If you understand what I mean by that, like he's a natural born leader. He's just one of those guys where you can be anybody and he'll connect to you. It's kind of like, um, like a, a universal USB port. You know, he can he can adapt to anything and anything. How does Dr. Pinkney do what he does best? What Dr. Pickney does is that he actually puts you in the shoes of an entrepreneur. And as a student, you're kind of more prepared to work under somebody. We're all maybe so young and embarking on a, t a kind of trade skill, uh, with whether it be like business or otherwise. Um, but then Dr. Pickney's like, wait, look at what you're actually learning and then see how you can create an individual impact on the world through your own organizational capabilities. Um, and I thought that was really unique. What makes Dr. Pinckney an effective leader? Dr. Pinckney was not afraid to ask the hard questions and that's the biggest thing. Critical thinking is an aspect in school that is now very much so neglected. And Dr. Pinckney emphasized that with us. And during this 16 week course, he made sure that we were all a family in this endeavor. No one was alone. We played off of each other's strengths and were there to fill in with each other's weaknesses, to brainstorm and connect, collaborate, and create. But the key is when you have you raise your cognitive levels, then you can discriminate about what you like, what you don't like, and you can think critically and evaluate. 